And right. I'm saying all that to say this about these two characters, Chuck Flea and Flavor Slave. Talk about them. The barbers stay not living. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all killing me. Team, moving along with the team, whether it be Spike Lee and his, you know, 40 Acres of Mule, Def Jam as a record company, and then Rush Production as a management company. And that's one of what we're going to talk about even tonight because our relationship with Lior happens from a management standpoint with Rush. Mm -hmm. It's us against the world. So we're very clear on what it was and what it had to be. Flirt. <laughs> Not adhering to the code. Not standing on business. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. And I said recently, if you're going to use the Black Panther look, if you're going to use the energy and the spirit um, and the lingo and the and the and the, uh, the lessons of the nation of Islam and the five percent nation of gods and earth. If you're going to use that, but you're not about that, right? You understand what I'm saying? Then what are you doing? You faking? You entertaining? So right. someone said, "Grip, you know something, man? You got it twisted." I'm like, "What are you talking about?" It says, "Listen, them two dudes are entertainers and, and pretending to be revolutionaries. You're revolutionary entertaining." Damn. <laughs> I had so much fun to where I ended up becoming the mascot a Def Jam at one point. You know what I'm saying? In the whole nine. I thank Def Jam for having a real good team, you know, behind us that did the right thing with us and the right thing with our music. You know what I'm saying? And also they put us in the right places, put us on the right tours. You know what I'm saying? And all of that contributes to who we are today, you know, in size.